So you wanna have a part 3D printed, but you don't want to deal with a 3D printer. What do you actually do? Well, this is an interesting question and it actually comes up pretty often. You might be a teacher who doesn't have access to enough printers to support all the parts in your class if you're doing a STEM education class. You might be somebody new to 3D printing who is just trying to experiment and understand what kind of parts you get out of it. Or you might be somebody who has no interest in it at all but needs the printed part. This could be like prosthetics where you need a test socket. Or maybe in architecture where you need a model of a building but you don't want to have to deal with the hassle of having a 3D printer. How do you get those parts made? Well, first of all, you have to have a model. If you're a designer, then it's pretty easy. Easy. you've got a 3D model. You need to convert it into an STL or an OBJ. In that case, you're good, you're set, you're ready to go. You gotta make sure it's oriented, laying flat on a base, and you'll be fine. If you don't have a 3D model, then you need to find one. You can go to repositories like My Mini Factory, Printables, or go to yegi.com and you can find all of them kind of combined so you can make some cool gifts for your family that they wouldn't be able to find on Amazon. And if you have no way to get a hold of 3D models, but you still want something totally original, then you can go to a contractor site like Fiverr and there are 3D modeling artists there who can create whatever your concept is and turn it into a 3D printable model. Again, an STL is ideal. Once you have that 3D model, all you have to do is go over to the Slant 3D POD page and then upload the file. It'll show you a preview of the file and the way it's gonna be printed. It will show you the orientation. That flat plane is the printer bed and if it's laying sideways or weird or wonky somehow, you need to reorient it. This has to be done by you because the orientation of the print is very dependent on the part. And if you're designing for the 3D printing process, you need to set the standard. We don't wanna do some kind of an AI visualization version of it because then we might be doing something that you don't wanna actually have happen to your design. So you need to make sure that your part is oriented ahead of time, at which point you will get a quote for how much it costs to make that part. We show the quote immediately. You don't have to sign up for an email or give us your name or anything else. You can go by and explore if you want to. We think it's necessary for you to know what you're getting into without having to sign up for a newsletter first. Once you get that quote, you can just say buy now, put in your information and you'll get your part. If you create a user profile with us, then you can store that part, which can be really useful if you're needing it for long periods of time. But over time, maybe you are trying to run an Etsy store or you want to have access to our print farm and you're using the POD app to get access to all of those machines. So you might just upload your Etsy inventory and then when an order comes through, you can make that order again and ship it to the address of your Etsy customer. That will allow you to expand whatever your production capacity is without actually ever having to purchase new machines. You can have one machine in your office or in your garage or in your shop that you do prototyping and design on, but then you can use us to offload capacity to your actual customers and clients by just moving data over. And this is what's really interesting about this app, because even though this app stands alone as a really good, easy resource for getting 3D prints done, the technology underneath it is what is really interesting. Because number one, it's backed up by hundreds to thousands of 3D printers that can be fired up in a moment to actually make it do its job. But the software itself can be remodified to integrate with other things. In the near future, we'll be releasing Etsy integrations, Shopify integrations, and the core API itself so that you can plug it into basically any website or marketplace you want. So you can do 3D printed drop shipping, where you have, again, access to the capacity of hundreds of machines without actually ever having to own one. So this app is a good opportunity to dip your toes into it and start messing around with products and ideas that might work and can then be ported over to the new integrations down the line. Hopefully that gives you some insight as to how to 3D print a product if you don't have a 3D printer. We hope that our process makes it totally invisible for you so that you, the designers, the product creators, the business operators, don't actually have to engage with a plugged nozzle. You can just order a part and you get your part because that's really what the point of 3D printing is, is to have something appear out of nothing without actually having to do a whole lot of work and setup. Have a great day, everybody.